govornik na prvom Kajzer kongresu je Kimo Javinen, direktor Kajzer instituta u Finjskoj. Kimo je proveo preko 20 godina radeći kompaniji Nokia Siemens, firmi sa preko 100.000 zaposlenih, te je bio Head of Continuous Improvement sa preko 200 zaposlenih. Upravo tako, preko 200 zaposlenih je bilo u sektoru za Continuous Improvement, odnosno staroj dobroj japanskoj reči Kajzer. Od 2013. godine, Kimo je direktor Kajzer instituta u Finjskoj. S obzirom na to da je postavljena Deda Mraza upravo Laponija, odnosno Finjska, Kimo je bio i konsultant za Deda Mraza i novogodišnje poklone. Njegov cilj je bio kako da klinci celog sveta dobiju poklone on time and pool sa niskim troškovima isporuke i to sve bez zalika. Dakle, od Japana preko Finjske pa sve do Srbije. Molim vas da pozdravite velikim srpskim aplauzom našeg dragog gosta Kimo Jarvine, direktor Kajzen instituta u Finjskoj. Thank you. Good morning. <clears throat> I will talk about Kaisen transformation. So the aim is to involve everybody, everywhere and every day to build up the culture. So that's that's like a transformation work that is happening within the factories and companies and in different organizations. You might wonder why there is butterfly in our slides. If you think the butterfly, it has became, it, it has gone through the transformation. I don't know the English word, but this small horn that transforms itself to beautiful butterfly. That's the example of transformation. And that is something what happens in my, quite many companies and organizations. So to change for better. I will ask some of my slides, so I will be able to spend more time in, in, in the most important slides. So, as you know, Kai means change, Chen means for better, Kai Sen is like a continuous improvement, and the message is that to really create a Kai Sen culture, continuous improvement culture, that is a hard work. That needs a lot of practice. It is not a project that happens overnight. It, it is very, it's, it's like a way of living. It is the culture. The goal is to become lean. So you know that we have a process starting from somewhere, ending to somewhere. During the process, there is a lot of value and things, something which is not value, something that customer is not ready to pay. And the aim is to get rid of this non-value add things and to make processes faster. And when the processes are fast, the lead times are short, then the all good things will follow. When the process is fast, lead time is short, the productivity will go up, inventory will go down, there will be more flexibility, customers will be more happy, processes will be more simple, and that will increase also the quality. So, and consequence of that will be cost efficiency. So, the goal is to be the. As said, there will be a lot of good things happening when, when this change for better, Kaizen is done. So many times, as you know, the results can be measured in terms of quality, cost, delivery, but also motivation. So I have seen that in the clean companies who have done good Kaizen work long time, people are smiling. People are more motivated to work because they are empowered to improve their own work. So this is also important thing. When you are doing the Kaizen work, people in the companies are more motivated. So this is actually positive thing. Many times when there is a consultant coming with the black suit and starting to talk about productivity increase, then everyone goes to the defense mode. But actually this is positive change. 
And when we can do more with same, the aim is not lay of people, when we can do more with the same, that is also enabling the growth of the company. So growth, cost, quality, delivery, and motivation will be improved. But then there is a question, how to do that? How to create a culture? What is culture? How to create a culture? How to make this continuous improvement as a habit? How to make it happen every day, everywhere, by everybody? That's the difficult, difficult question. Everyone is willing to do that. But there are not so many companies who are really capable to do that. And that will be my topic. I will explain you Kaizen business system and part of this Kaizen business system there is an element called Kaizen change model. And Kaizen change model is like a framework to ramp up Kaizen and maintain the Kaizen, to create the culture. Companies who are deploying this kind of framework, this kind of business excellence system, it is long-term thing, it is not happening overnight, it is not like a project, it is something that company and people are living, and it is very much people-based. If you want to make the cultural change, it starts from the people, throughout the whole organization. It is top-down, and it is bottom up. But if the companies are able to do that, they are creating a sustainable competitive advantage for themselves. And this is something which we can see from the companies who are really deploying Kaizen, who are really able to do the change. So, so there are some examples who have been able to do it. And companies are normally creating their own change model. So they have their own model. They have, there are post-production systems. There is a Nokia improvement system. There are a lot of different kind of uh, uh, approaches and ways to do the, to do the change. And that's, that's good thing because there is, a no, there is no copy-based solution. There are different cultures within the companies. There are different cultures around the globe. So it is it is great thing that companies are picking up the best things and creating their own framework for the change. And I will now present Kaizen Institute's framework. Many times our customers they took the framework and do the copy paste but they changed the flavor. They put their own parts there. And many times when I go to new customer, I will, I will start with some kind of assessment. I, I try to observe what is in place, where are the holes, what would be the next steps. And those things will be then tailored in the existing frame. So improve what you have. The aim is not to start from the scratch. Uh, in this model, everything starts from the foundation. So the foundation of Kaizen is, is these five Kaizen principles. The first one is of course customer. We are here, or we are working because of customer. The aim is to add value to customer. And good question is that is customer ready to pay for this work that we are doing? If not, maybe that is not then value add to the customer. So, and then the next principle is that, yes, we need to add value to customer. Next question is that, okay, how we are doing that in efficient way? And that's the waste, waste part. To take the waste away from the processes. So we, we are delivering value to customer, 
customer is selecting us, is willing to pay for the service, for the product, and then we are making ourselves efficient in order to improve our own internal way of work. Third one is Kemba effectiveness. Kemba is the place where the value is created for the customer. It's so easy to forget. We are having a meetings in the meeting rooms, not in, not in Kemba. We are not sometimes knowing that we have that kind of customer. We are delivering this product to the customer. So the Kemba is the most important place of the organization. That's the place where the value is created for the customer. And then fourth principle is involving people for the change. As said, people are motivated to change for better. But we need to allow people to join for the improvement work. I have seen great examples. For example, for example, uh, Nokia where I worked before, this change. People are very empowered, they are very passionate to improve their own work. And they are allowed to improve. Mm. And that has been a big factor for this cultural change. Fifth principle is the visual management. So, we are creating the standards to make the things as the work as efficient as possible. We need to check that we are working according to standards. We need to make the, this check as easy as possible, easy to see. Therefore, this visual management is, is important. If we don't have standards, we cannot improve. Because then the chaos is the normal model. When we start to put the standards in place, deviation from the standard is the opportunity to improve. If the deviation from the standard is easy to observe, we can react quickly. Therefore, visual management is the fifth principle. So everything starts from these five principles. And there are lots of lean tools behind of this, but those tools are not the key. These principles, and this the model, the, the model that I will explain in a second. There are a lot of good companies who have worked long time with Lee. But sometimes they are feeling that they are not gaining results. They are very technically skilled, they, they have a lots of different colors, of pens. They have a lot of technically trained people. People are very good to do the value stream maps. They are implementing fibers. They have lots of different kind of complicated tools in place. But even then, sometimes companies are feeling that they are not gaining real results. And many times the reason is that these tools are not connected to each other. There is no logic how to use the tools. The framework is missing. It is very technically oriented implementation. There is no focus on real change, cultural change. So here is the model, Kaizen business system. Left hand side is growth tools, and right hand side is QCD, quality cost delivery tools. Those are like the technical tool sets. If we have a problem with the flow, we pick up the flow improvement tool set. If we have a difficulties with the quality, we will pick up the quality improvement tool set. So those are like the technical tool sets. And on bottom of the picture, there is a Kaizen change model. Daily Kaizen, Breakthrough Kaizen, Leaders Kaizen and Support Kaizen. That's, in my opinion, that's the key for the real change. That's the model how to ramp up continuous improvement work, 
how to sustain it, and how to involve everybody. Here are details of that product. So there are, there are elements called daily kaizen, breakthrough kaizen, leaders kaizen, and support kaizen. I will start from the leaders kaizen. The key factor for the successful change is leaders commitment. So the leaders need to be involved. And many times leaders are willing to involve, but they don't know really how, what, what this commitment for the Kaizen, for the continuous improvement means. In this leaders Kaizen box, there are helping guidance for the leaders. What, what is their role for Kaizen work? How to do and how to support Kaizen change in the organization? What, what are the leaders' behaviors? What are the things that the leaders should do for the change? <coughs> One important part there is the strategy. Creating a strategy. Cascading the strategy down throughout the whole organization. Visual control, mission control for the strategy execution, and so on. Strategy is many times executed by projects. And that's the breakthrough guys. Breakthrough guys <coughs> is giving a way what is the efficient way to improve the processes. What is the way to execute in practical manner the strategy? When projects are completed, it's time to move the results of the project to daily level for the use. I know lots of companies who are experts to do the projects, but there is no real change happening in Kemba, where the value is created for the customer. Then the question is that, did we really need this project or not? So the handover from the breakthrough guys and happens to daily guys and if the, if these daily kaizen capabilities are available. And this daily kaizen is something which is like a bottom up. It creates the capabilities at Kempa level. What are the things to do in Kempa? And support kaizen is an enabling part. So there needs to be internal, sometimes external, coaches to help company to make the change, to put this in place. So that's the, that's the Kaizen change model, the framework. Here are details of the, of the framework. As said, many times some of these elements are missing. Elements are not linked together. Things within these elements are missing and are not linked together. So this is, I think that this is the most important slide that I have found from the Kaizen Institute. Here is the rule how to run the Kaizen change. This is like an interface for cultural change. And I'll I like the model because, for example, this daily Kaiser. Many times companies are starting <coughs> to do implementation with 5S. They start to put the 5S in place. And companies are somehow, sometimes struggling to sustain the 5S. Sometimes companies are doing the 5S because of the 5S. That's not value added. Before that, we need to create demand for the finance. Therefore, daily Kaiser step number two, workplace organization, that's the five S thing. Before that, we need to ensure that we have so-called natural teams working together in order to achieve common targets. When the natural teams are understanding that, yes, this is something that we need to achieve today, they are fighting for that. If they have a system to follow up themselves, 
not to report, but follow up themselves how we are doing. That makes them quite even more. So we create, we, we organize teams. We ensure that the teams are knowing their targets, they are fighting for that. At the same time, teams are uh, educated about lean. They are fighting to get in, to, to achieve the targets. And they are understanding lean, uh, the waste, the things which are disturbing them to achieve the targets. That is triggering naturally the waste part. Of course they start to make their work efficient. When they take the mudder away from their own work, the next step is start to look around that hey, this work environment is not supporting us to achieve the target. <coughs> and now we have a need for the uh, five years. So we are this model step number one is creating a need for the step number two. Step number two is creating a need for the step number three. And that is driving the cultural change. That's all. There are lots of details within this. There are tons of slides behind of this, but everything fits in one slide. So there is a model for the change. There is the model to create continuous improvement culture. That is the way to build up this operational system, this competitive advantage. Another view the system, so the leaders guys is starting from top, it's like a top down. Create the strategy, cascading the strategic objectives down. There are tools for that, there is an X matrix, it's like a hosting country type of planning. Then there is a breakthrough Kaizen to run those projects, map the value streams, design better value streams, implement the change in order to improve the processes. Do the Kaizen events for those quick changes and then hand over the results to daily use. And that's daily guys. And the improvements in daily guys is also happening daily basis by those teams who are working at Game Level. That's bottom up. So these elements are linked together. And there are clear roles for different teams. There is a role for the leadership teams, there is a role for project teams, there is a uh, role for the uh, Kemba teams, those natural teams. And there is also a role for the supportive teams, those internal or external coaches who are helping organizations to make this change. In the best case, this can be even close loop management system. It is not anymore the Kaizen model or continuous improvement model. It, be, it became an uh, operating system of the company, like post production system. One more view. So, the aim of the daily Kaizen is to take away the variation, improve in small steps, break through Kaizen is to make those stepwise improvements. Then there is a time again for the education to remove the variation and so on. And the leader's guidance is giving the direction. This is the strategic objectives. This is the way, way where we are on the way. And the support guidance is to enable this enabling part. And behind of there, if behind of there that there are lots of different kind of tools, but the tools are not the key, the framework and the people. I already explained this, so there are different roles for the different teams, different levels of the organization, and it is something which should happen throughout the whole organization. 
different units, they need to have their own framework, of course the same framework, this guys of change for that everywhere, but also throughout the whole corporation. It goes to the team level as well. But this is this is the framework to cover the whole corporation. Normally it starts from the products. Therefore all clean models are called products of the <coughs> But someday companies are noticing that yes, products on lead time is two days. But the delivery lead time is 42 days. Should we make this two days even shorter? Maybe we need to focus on something else. But this model fits to everywhere. I will pick up one case study. This is the story of one factory turnaround. It was done in the Astra. <coughs> they, they, they had focused on the daily Kaisen implementation a long time. And they had a very difficult situation. They made losses. They made losses, but happy thing was that they were they had a, a, a new customer waiting. So we had a breakthrough guys in there. We mapped the processes, we found a lot of lot of improvement opportunities and we implemented the change. And we saved it. We saved the factor. They are profitable again, they have a uh, good situation. The second case, I will solve this very shortly, is from the public sector. Two small cities in, the, in, in Finland, in the Lapland, and uh, the problem was that <coughs> tax incomes were not enough anymore to, to do everything what was needed. So they had a problem that they needed to do more with less, and that's me. So we selected the pilots, and we implemented the whole model that I just explained, and they, they transferred that for themselves. So they, they have now, it's, in Finnish it's Lappilina, uh, in English it's something that leaner Lapland. And they have this model, these four elements. And they have this in place, and now they are sustainable they can do the improvement work by themselves because they created this kind of logic for the improvement. Good results were done. My time is now over. I hope that this brought some food for thoughts. How to make the cultural change.